Hey Gemini, this is Aqua Goddess coming to give you all a general reading. Keep in mind that this reading will be for past, present, future, and it may or may not resonate with you. If you're interested in purchasing artwork, manifestation, jewelry, donating to the channel, anything of that sort, the information will be down below in our description box. Also guys, do not forget to check out our second channel, Troy's Mermaid Palace LLC. I've included our link in the description box and some information on our community page. Make sure that you guys like and subscribe to the channel. It would be much appreciated. It would help our family grow and also help you to receive your notifications for your future reads. I've already prayed and meditated over your energy, Gemini, so we're just going to go ahead and tap right in. Spirit, angels, ancestors, guides, please protect me while channeling the messages for the sign of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Note. Please return all negative energy back to sender, 10 million fold. And if you out there showing me love, much love and light to you. Okay. Spirit, what are the messages for my Geminis? Somebody wants you to stop giving up on them, or this could be you, Gemini. Somebody is pulling away from their, this, you know, somebody is pulling their energy away. And it's because they've been through a lot in their past. They do not want to get hurt anymore. And, you know, if this is you and there's a person pulling their energy away from you, this is because they are afraid of getting hurt. You're coming off as someone very genuine and you seem to be, you know, telling this person like you're different. You're not like the rest of the people. But this person is wanting to give up because they're afraid. Oh. Wow. Okay. Um, so this kind of changed the dynamics of things, Gemini. Because there is a wedge here in between this relationship. Um, Spirit is telling me that there is a third party. Someone interfering with this moving forward. So, you know, if you're in a position where you really like somebody, you want to take things to the next level... But this person seems to be distant or withdrawn. It's because they haven't been able to tell you the full story. You guys could just be in a getting to know each other stage. Or they could have started talking back to somebody that they were already connected to. I definitely see an existing third party here. Mm -hmm. Confirmation. So. Yeah. Um, sneaky link. Oh, I see. Okay. So, this person, they could still have a relationship with <coughs> their child's mom or their child's dad. Okay? They are not on the best of the terms right now. In fact, the baby mom is, or somebody, because th there are single fathers as well. Um, they're not on the best terms right now. Literally, there's a lot of family issues. They could actually be trying to separate, but they haven't separated yet. I'm seeing that there could be some type of custody battle in regards to the kids or child support. So this person is feeling very disconnected from this baby mom or this baby dad. And so they've met you um, and they're passionate about you. They're excited when they see you. So this is like they're trying to transition, but they haven't fully transitioned. They could possibly still live with this person, especially if you've never been to their home. You could feel like, and this could be an earth sign, a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. 
you could definitely feel like this person is closed off at times like they shut down when you want to talk about it you know like if you want to talk about transitioning to the new the next phase you know let's make it official whatever the case may be this person is very aloof it's they're disconnected i i'm thinking that you're starting to feel like you don't know if you want to move forward um, some of you all could have gotten an intuitive feeling that there was someone else or just trying to understand more why this person is so closed off. Why when you want to talk about certain things or get to the bottom of certain things, you can't. And I just want to let you know it's because they definitely are still connecting here. Okay. Um. This is someone that you you want to be with this person. You really care about this person. Like when they're having a bad day, you want to know what's wrong. You want to try to fix it. You know, you want to be the person that this person can come and vent to. But they just seem distant. It's like one moment everything is passionate, exciting, chemistry. Then the next moment it's like something's wrong. But they never tell you what's wrong, so you always got to guess. And so you just feel like this person is emotionally immature. It's like they could have came off as being very mature when you guys first met. But as time goes along and issues happen and discussions need to be made, compromises need to be made, you realize that this person really has a lot of work that they need to do as far as their emotions and their communication. Mm. And so because you guys are not really understanding each other, um, it could be causing some some turmoil, you know, like it could definitely be a lot of moments of silence or times where you guys are kind of ignoring each other because you might not feel like playing guessing games and this person don't feel like explaining. So it's like a disconnect there. Mm. Oh, yeah. Unfortunately, if this is a masculine energy that you're dealing with, this person definitely is about to be put on child support if they're not already, if it's not already in the process. So, like, you know, y'all could have started out going places, doing fun things spending money going on dates you know but i definitely see that shifting um, because this person is going to be getting a shorter paycheck than what they're used to i see child support coming out i see child support coming out so they definitely want to take you out but they could feel disconnected from their emotions and their finances and so many things right now and this person, unlike you, because you are, Geminis are communicators. You guys pay attention to, the de de uh, to details and you want to, you're very analytical. You know, this person, it, it's going to drive you crazy, the stubbornness and just the emotion, the emotional immaturity. Because you're going to want to talk. Like, why aren't you taking me out? You know, why aren't things moving along? How can we get to the... Like, you want to know. You want to know. Like, you really want to know. Because it's like, it's becoming boring. Like, at this point. You know, it's like, y'all just not on the same page. Even though it could have started out a certain kind of way. You know? And I see that... This is something that you for real been trying to be patient with. But it's starting to become a cycle. You know, it's starting to become a cycle. And you're starting to have a change of heart. It's like you really still care about them. And you still keep kind of sort of trying. But you're starting to lose interest. Because it's starting to become like you're overextending. Or you got to do too much. Or you got to guess too much. Or it's just too much so i definitely see that you guys are going to be spending some time uh pampering yourself treating yourself taking yourself out doing things that make yourself feel happy um 
I definitely feel like if this is a friends with benefits situation or a sneaky link situation, that you're not really so much the sneaky link type. You more attract, you know, relationships. And so it's like you could have started off a certain type of way because it was hot and heavy or like just the chemistry. But it's not your end goal. Like you're trying to move things forward. And put yourself wherever you may fit um, in this scenario if this is your story. Please use your discernment. Um, I got people commenting like, oh, it's the other person. Okay, duh. I give you a disclosure in the beginning of the video. And I'm not even trying to be disrespectful. But it's just like, why even waste your time and say that? Put yourself where you may fit if it's your story. And if it ain't, don't even force it. Like, what are you doing? Like, yeah. And then tell me why this card on the top, y'all. You can't even see this shit. But it says intuition. Yeah, trust your intuition in all things. Okay? Because that gut feeling is usually right. You feel me? Alright. Spirit, what are the messages for my Gemini's? Yeah, a lot of y'all dealing with a Virgo that y'all met at work. I feel like this person is looking for the old you that was more flirty and more flexible. But it's like as time go by, as time goes by, we all grown. You know, it, it needs to be a time. And I would really, myself personally... Which I ain't even going to get into my personal th details. But I'm just saying like it's good to know like somebody up front. Know their values. Know their morals. Know that you ain't wasting your time. Because if y'all don't got the same values. Like you feel like you want a long term connection. But then this person confused. It's going to cause too much. Like too many issues. Like and then it's just going to be like. What the what? Like we ain't on the same page. I went through a spiritual awakening after we separated. It almost broke me. Okay. So this person definitely um like I said, I really think that they transitioning. I know that they don't really want to stay with this baby mama. I know that intuitively. They don't. Like, and it's like this person could have really um, caused them <clears throat> so much stress and stuff. Because it's a big man right here. Yeah, this person could have caused them a lot of stress. Definitely with this child support situation. Because I feel like this person was the type of person that take care of their kids anyway. And this baby mama is just being spiteful because they don't really want to deal with them no more. It's like, you know, they could have met when they was young. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, young and goofy. You know how I go. And this person, it's like they've grown apart. But this baby mama or baby daddy still childish. And they still do things out of ego and they still just always got this revenge motive behind them so they're no longer attracted to them and it's like when they met you it was like self-motivation like man like i could actually have something that's well like reciprocated like i could be excited when i see my person every time like i could really like be happy with this person and it's like because they pull their energy back. I think they really even stopped sleeping with this baby mama, baby daddy. Like, but they still trying to stop them from moving forward. And it's like the more they hold their energy back from them, the more spiteful they get. And this is why they having money issues because this person is attacking their money now. I 
I hate you always know what I'm thinking about. I can't get nothing past you. And it's next to intuition. So this person, you always you already know because like I said, you're very analytical. You use you're a fast thinker. That's what you that's your nature. So it's like you already like even though this person might be making you read between the lines, you good at reading between the lines, basically. They hate that they can't hide nothing from you. You know, like even when you guys are intimate, you'll notice when something is off or when something ain't, mm, what's going on, man? Like, like you're going to pick it up and you're going to speak on it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're going to pick it up and you're going to speak on it. But if this person been running from their feelings, just know it's a reason behind it. Wow, coward. Yeah, Spirit is saying that they are coward because they really should just be honest with you. Like, about everything that's going on. But this person has a hard time talking about shit out loud. So they just think about it and they leave everybody around them confused. Unfortunately, you know. Yeah, but this is causing this person a lot of issues and delays and unwelcome changes this person is going through a loss and they feel fried they really do feel fried but they still ain't build the courage to open up and this is an ex-boyfriend ex-girlfriend y'all could still be kicking it or this could be something that happened in the past they definitely still pay attention to you so definitely got a back backup fake page you could have blocked them this person misses intimacy with you so bad. It could be a Scorpio. They've been trying to manifest you back into their life. This person is saying, I often think about you and I know it's because you're thinking about me too. So they think about you so much. They just feel like, which most of the time, I ain't even going to lie to you. Most of the time, when you're thinking about somebody, it is because they're thinking about you. For real, for real. They pulling your energy in. But then, it's somebody, um, it's a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Spirit is saying you dodged a bullet with them. Also, for some of y'all, y'all could be looking for a new home or something. And it could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, which you probably wouldn't even know all this. Because this, we talking about the landlord now. Um, Spirit is saying this person is, is You dodged a bullet if you didn't get that spot Because there's something wrong with that landlord I don't know what Spirit is trying to tell me right now But that's what they told me Okay um, Some of you guys got a Cancer Pisces Scorpio That you feel like They there but they not there This person could have jeopardized your home or something. You could have had to talk to your landlord about this person. Some of y'all are experiencing issues with y'all landlord. Mm. Man. What the? But I see you coming out witty. Yeah. Somebody tried to cause confusion due to guilt. But you too smart for them. Like, matter of fact, you way smarter than this person so much to the point to where before they even present some bullshit to you, you already be, uh, <laughs> you be having them figured out already, Gemini. Like, for real. I'm going to be honest with you. That's why they be feeling stupid. Like, what can I do to try to get back at, at Gemini? And it's like nothing because Gemini is way smarter than you. They already thought about everything that you was going to do. And they already covered their tracks. Like, uh, duh. <laughs> Angel number 1919. 19. Like, uh, duh. It could be a cancer for y'all. For some of y'all. Yep, somebody you probably had a family with or you live with or something like that. Yeah, but you're definitely wanting to break cycles of emotionally immature people and stuff like that because you want your ten of cups. Like, 
you know, you want your stable foundation, your happy family, your happy home, your fulfillment. You want to be aligned and in harmony and you want to, you know, attract divine love. So you're trusting your intuition. You got intuition cards like five times. Like, you trust in your intuition and you're making a shift, a certain change in your energy. Alright, Spirit. Three more cards. Or four. Yeah, I see you standing your ground. Um, definitely taking control of a situation. You know, you're very determined. Um, very brave and it's like you have to have a sense of structure if it's not a sense of structure or something it's like it's not going to fulfill you it's going to be too much and it's not it's going to go against your nature let's put it that way alright so we got pretty much all the signs here so I don't even need to tell you that but damn, Wheel of Fortune in reverse twice. So this person, like when you really taken, when you took control and you set them boundaries, this you challenge this person. You really challenge this person, like, and it's like at this point, they can't do nothing but either come with the truth, come correct, or they can't come at all, like. Cause you've already really set your your boundaries when it comes to this person, like, and you're working on building your empire, so you're not interested in anything less than that. And I definitely don't see you prolonging this cycle, especially if y'all gonna be in this ignoring each other energy. That's not what you got to do. If this person can't communicate, you don't. It ain't. Mm, mm -mm. It ain't gonna work because you a communicator. Yeah, it's starting a revolution. You too much of a leader. Like you gonna it's it's gonna blow up. This person gonna be mad. Cause you know you are enough. You said I'm always enough. Yeah, that's what you said. And spirit says you're right. Don't doubt don't do not doubt your worth cuz you are always enough. Slow down and celebrate yourself. So do something to make yourself happy. You could be busy working and making things happen. You know, make sure you take some time to keep on doing your little self-care stuff. Go to the spa or whatever you it is that you want to do. But those are the messages that I have for you, my loves. If you like this reading or if it resonates with you, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. Also, guys, subscribe to the channel for your future readings. I love you very much and I will talk to you soon. Peace.